Hey there, Sam. Let's continue from where we left off in the previous video. We discussed about the registration and reset password features in Fortify. And now let's move on to email verification. In summary, the email verification feature, as the name suggests, will force the user to verify their email when they sign up to our app. Let's enable the feature in our config file and we'll head to our terminal and run PHP Artisan route list. And here, as you can see, the feature has added two new routes to our list. The post email verification notification endpoint will send an email verification link to the current logged in user. This typically happens right after the user has just signed up to our app. And if the user click on the link inside the email, which is the verification get route here, their email address will get verified and they can continue to use our app. Now, before we go through the whole verification process, if we want to force our user to verify their email, we need to get our user model to implement the must verify email contract. So let's go to our user model and implement the interface. And now the email verification feature should work. Now let's go to Postman and we'll test out the email verification routes. As I mentioned earlier, the post route for email verification will not work unless the user is logged in. At the moment, no one is logged in in our app. So if I try to send a post request to the endpoint, it should fail. And as expected, we get an error. Okay, now let's try to go through the whole sign up process again. First of all, I'll register a user by sending a post request to our register endpoint. And we get a 201 response. That means our user is created successfully. And since we have told our user model to implement the must verify contract, at this point, our app should have sent a verification email to our user. Let's go to mailtrap.io and we see an email in our inbox telling us to verify our email. Let's click on the link. Oops, we see an error saying that our login route is not defined, which makes sense because we have disabled all the views in Laravel Fortify. But why are we getting redirected to the login route anyway? And if we look at the stack trace, we notice that this error comes from the authenticate middleware, which means we're trying to send an API request to a protected route. This email verify endpoint is protected. And the fact that our app is trying to redirect us to the login page means that we're not logged in. We are logged in in Postman, but not in a browser. The browser did not have the correct cookie when it is sending the get request to verify our email. And our app could not possibly tell our user is logged in without any cookie. So to get this to work, we should send this get request inside Postman, where we do have the authentication cookies. So I'll copy the URL and go back to Postman and send it as a get request. And now we get a status code of 202 back and did not see the error anymore. At this point, Laravel would have already verified our user's email. And now if we try to view our data in MySQL, we will see our latest user will have a timestamp for the email verified at column. And that means our latest user has verified their email. Now, if you want to protect our routes so that only verified user can access them, we can apply the verified middleware to our routes. The verified middleware is defined inside our kernel and in the routes middleware mapping, as you can see here. And just for demonstration, I'm going to apply this middleware to all of our API routes by putting it inside our API middleware group. And now let's go back to Postman. I'll log out the current user and log in as HackerBand because HackerBand has not verified his email yet. Oops, I entered the wrong password. Let's try again. And we're in. And now let's try to call one of our API requests. Since HackerBand has not verified his email yet, we would expect an error. We'll try to call the get users endpoint and we see an error. Great, that's email verification in a nutshell. Now let's move on. The next 45 feature will enable us to update the user's profile information. Let's go back to our terminal and see the newly added routes. So Fortify has added a new put request that will update the user's profile information. To customize the update logic, we can go to the Fortify action folder in the update user profile information class and refactor the code as we see fit. 
By default, the API only accepts two fields, the name and the email fields. Let's go back to Postman, and we'll log in as a verified user, and attempt to update the name of the user. We will send a put request to the user profile information endpoint, and in the body, we'll change the name of the user. Oops, the email is also a required field. So we'll put that inside the body as well. Let's try that again. And this time it works. By default, from the code that Laravel has given to us, if we attempt to change the user email, Laravel will send another email verification email to the user, and the user has to repeat the whole email verification process again if we have implemented the must verify email contract for our user model. Anyway, let's move on. The next feature will enable routes for the user to update their passwords. Again, let's go to our terminal and take a look at the routes. And we see a new put endpoint that is linked to the update method inside the password controller provided by Fortify. Again, we can tweak the update password logic inside Fortify action class, namely the update user password class. And as you can see here inside the logic, the endpoint expects two fields, the current password and a password field. Let's give it a shot and try to change our current user's password. We'll go back to Postman and send a put request to the update password endpoint. The body will contain a current password and a new password. Let's click on send and we see an error saying that we also need a password confirmation field. The reason is because inside the validation rules, the password field has a confirm rule included with it. The confirm validation rules requires us to attach a confirmation field inside our request body. So let's go ahead and fix that. And now let's try that for one more time. And this time it works. We get a 200 response code. And just to make sure that our current user's password is updated correctly, I'll log out and log in again with the new password. And it works. The last feature that we will go through is the two-factor authentication. This is a bit more complicated than the rest and we'll continue to talk more about it in the next video. Key takeaway for this lesson, Fortify provides us a handy email verification feature to confirm the user's email address. We can use the Verify middleware to protect our app routes. So if an unverified user tries to call our API endpoints, our app will stop the user. However, in order for that to work, we'll need to implement the must verify email interface to our user model. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.